right, you are welcome again. How are you doing? And how is your the tutorial so far? Hope you are catching up, all right? Okay. Feel free, we are here for you. And you deserve the best. We are trying our possible best to serve you better, okay? All right. Let's see what we have for today. Our previous tutorial will talk about formation of number system. And then let's move further to properties of irrational numbers. When you see an irrational number, how can you easily detect? You get it? How can you differentiate from uh, a rational number from irrational? How can you differentiate them? Okay? Now let's go. You know, the other time, in our last uh, tutorial, we defined irrational numbers, all right? So we said that irrational numbers are the uh, decimal numbers that are non-terminating and non-repeating in blocks. So what are the properties? What are the things that hold with irrational numbers. All right, let's go. Let's take something like this. We say, let P and M be any positive prime numbers. And N is a rational number. We are going to be using three things. And then the three things we are going to be using is just like three numbers. And then we use a letter as an instance. To represent those numbers that we use P and M I say that this P and M must be what prime numbers hope you understand the meaning of prime number right that is a number that is only divisible by one and itself okay for instance we have two two is a prime number we have three three is a prime number we have five five is a prime number we have seven we have eleven we have uh, seventeen all these are what prime numbers okay so we say that p and m must be positive prime numbers okay and then n is what is a rational number okay good now let's go let's take number one we have five of them all how many okay i will just take four okay good now we have number one. We say that all numbers of the form n root p, where n is not is not equal to zero. Any number in form of n root p is a rational number. So we say all numbers of the form n root p, where n is not equal to zero they are called irrational numbers they are all they are all irrational numbers now let's take for instance let our n be equal to two and then our p to be three then we'll say two root three that is n root p okay and then we we'll say that let our n be what two and then let our p be what three then we will simply say two root three so two root three we give us three point four six four one zero one six one five continuously now when you look at this number very well you discover that it is not terminating it is non terminating it is not terminating that is it is non terminating that is one and then you look closely you discover that it is not repeating in blocks so definitely any number in form of n root p where n is a rational number you get it is 
and p sorry and p is a prime number any number in form of n root p where n is a, a rational number and then p is a prime number such number is called a rational number please don't be confused let's take another example for more clarification okay now let's take another one let our n be equal to 5 and then let our p be equal to 11 you discover that you that your p must be what prime number okay good now let's take our n to be 5 and then p to be 11 then we'll say 5 root 11 5 root 11 will give us 16.5831 continuously then once again you look closely discover that this is not terminating and it is not also repeating in blocks so as it's not terminating that have given is 50 percent of not being a rational number and then not repeating in blocks gives it another 50 percentage of not being rational number so it is not terminating and it is not repeating in blocks this makes it to be what a rational number okay okay all right let's go number two all numbers of the form upper bracket n plus root p are irrational numbers any number in this form n plus root p are irrational numbers let's say for instance let our n be equal to three and then p our p to be equal to five so therefore we'll say three plus root five 3 plus root 5 it will give us 5.23606797 continuously once again it is not terminating and then secondly it is not repeating in blocks so that makes it to be what irrational numbers number three properties we say that all numbers of the form root m plus root p where m is not equal to p are irrational numbers all numbers of the form root m plus root p where m and p is not equal is not the same so such number are called irrational numbers for instance let's take our m to be 3 our p to be 19 then when we say root 3 plus root 19 what will it give us root 3 plus root 19 it will give us 6.0 zero nine zero nine four nine seven five one oh wow this one looks like someone's phone number please if your if it's your phone number please uh we are sorry okay this is just our solving okay you discover that it gives us zero uh sorry six point zero nine zero nine four nine five sorry nine seven five one once again it is not terminating and then secondly it is not repeating in blocks that makes it to be what irrational number okay let's take the okay number four any number that is not a perfect square the square root is an irrational number any number at all that is not a perfect square when you take the square root of that number it will give you what a rational number now let's understand the meaning of uh perfect square perfect square are those number that there exists a number that will multiply itself and it will give you that particular number that is perfect square 
for instance we have nine nine is a perfect square because there is a number that exists that can multiply itself or that will multiply itself and it will give you nine what is that number three times three three multiply itself it will give you what nine so nine is what is a perfect square four four is a perfect square because there exists a number that will multiply itself or that when it multiply itself it will give you four what is that number two two times two two multiply itself it will give you four so outside these numbers that are perfect square so when you take the square root of any other number it will give you what irrational number so when you take the square root of four square root of four will give you two okay square root of nine it will give you three okay square root of 16 it will give you four square root of 25 it will give you five okay so continuously square root of uh 36 it will give you six 49 it will give you what seven continuously then apart from these numbers that are perfect square any other number when you take the square root of it it will give you what a rational number for example two is there any number that can multiply itself and it will give you two no okay the root two is what a rational number root two will give you one point one point four one four two one three five six two okay that makes it to be what a rational number root five Root 5 will give you 2.236067977 continuously. That makes it a rational number. Root 6. Root 6 will give you 2.44948974 continuously. That makes it to be what? A rational. Root 7. 2.645751318. That makes it to be what? A rational number. Continuously, any number that is not a perfect square, when you take the root of it, the square root of it, it will give you what? A rational number. Okay? Good. Now let's take the last one, number five. The number E, we call it exponential. Okay? We call it what? Exponential. E and then pi. These two numbers, they are also irrational number. When you point your calculator to find the value of exponential, that is E, it will give you 2.718281828, which is uh, non-terminating and non-repeating in blocks, which makes it to be what? Irrational number. Now, we also want to take the value of pi. Pi will give you 3.1415. 92654 continuously that makes it to be also a rational number okay thank you very much we come to a conclusion or uh, to the end of this uh tutorial which is the properties of a rational number all right next time we're going to talk about some properties of real numbers please stay tuned and Keep practicing, okay? Please practice them by yourself. Keep memorizing them until it becomes part of you, okay? Thank you very much. See you next time. Please, if you have not subscribed, do us a favor and then subscribe. Mm -hmm.